ओके हेलो एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून सो टुडे विल कवर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉम्पोजिट बीपी इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग सो आई होप एवरीवन नोज व्हाट इज बीपी ब्रेक इन पॉइंट इज अमाउंट ऑफ सेल्स और नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स रिक्वायर्ड सो दैट वी हैव नो प्रॉफिट नो लॉस ओके सो दैट इज कंट्रीब्यूशन व्हिच वी नीड टू कवर आवर एंटायर फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट ओके हाउ डज मार्जिनल कॉस्ट शीट लुक दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग चैप्टर सेल्स माइनस वीसी गिव्स अस कंट्रीब्यूशन माइनस फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट गिव्स अस प्रॉफिट If you understand this cost sheet very conceptually and logically, then entire marginal costing chapter is easy. Okay, so when will our profit be zero? When contribution and fixed cost both are equal, so that x minus x is zero, right? So that is called as our break-even point. So whatever whatever are the sales at that point are called as our break-even sales. But right now in this lecture we are not going to focus on that. We have to focus on composite BP. Composite BP means what? If there are two products or more products, then what to do? Okay, because understand carefully. Let us say we produce pen and a pencil in a factory. Okay, so there is only one factory building. In one single building, we produce pens also, pencil also. So some fixed costs will be common for both. Common fixed costs. Now those common fixed costs, there there is no point in dividing them between pen and pencil because under marginal costing. we don't apportion fixed costs under marginal costing there is no concept of apportionment of fixed costs so there is no basis under marginal costing by which we can bifurcate this fixed cost between pen and pencil so what we have to do is we have to consider this as common fixed cost single fixed cost but contribution will be different contribution of pen will be different contribution of pencil will be different maybe x and y but fixed cost will be same z common fixed cost for them so we have to decide what should be this x plus y so that our net profit is still zero okay so what is our composite bp composite bp means individual break even point of multiple products which are produced together individual break even point of multiple products which are produced together okay so let's look at this through a question only because through a question you will be able to understand the concept in the best way there are two ways to do this we'll so we'll see both the ways okay fine so just a second let me open up the question Okay, so this question number nine from my class question bank. This was earlier there in CA final module. Okay, so uh, it is there in your inter now, obviously, because nearly most of the syllabus has been transferred to inter. So your syllabus has been made a little bit difficult. Okay, fine. So I had shared this question on Telegram channel. Those who have not seen it, you can pause the video, try it by yourself first. Okay, try to do it by yourself. I know you don't know the concept maybe, but still try to do it by yourself because if you get it, then that will give you a lot of confidence. And even if you try and don't get it, that will give you a confidence that okay, I can tackle on difficult questions as well. I can at least try. In exam, you should not look at the question, and if you feel it is difficult, you should leave it. You should keep trying at least because in exam, I mean, for one or two questions you can do it definitely, but all other questions you'll have to try, right? You cannot just leave. It, this is not maths because in maths. If the question is difficult, you can just leave it because it is one out of hundred. Here, one question is worth ten marks, so it is very valuable. Hmm? Fine, let's read and try to solve. I hope you have tried. M K Limited manufactures and sells a single product X, whose selling price is forty per unit and variable cost is sixteen per unit. Understand this first part is not about composite BP. This second part is about composite BP. Okay, so we'll have to solve first part first. It is easy. Let's try. Selling price is forty, variable cost is sixteen. That means what is contribution per unit? Forty uh, minus sixteen. That is twenty-four. Right? Fine. Keep your calculators with you. Let's try. If fixed costs for this year are four lakh eighty thousand, and the annual sales are at sixty percent margin of safety, margin of safety, they are at sixty percent margin of safety. That means remaining forty percent is break-even sales, and thus total hundred percent are. Total sales. Always remember, 60% MOS means 40% break-even sales, and 100% is total sales. Calculate the rate of net return on sales, assuming income tax level of 40%. Fine, we'll do that. Before that, they have given uh, we have contribution per unit, which we have calculated 24. We have fixed cost in total, right? How much is that? 4 lakh 80 thousand. We know formula of break-even point. In terms of number of units, what is formula break-even point in terms of number of units? Fixed cost upon contribution per unit. So what is break-even point here? Four lakh eighty thousand divided by twenty-four, which is twenty thousand units. 
This is break even sales 20,000 units. So what will be total sales then? Understand it is a simple ratio 20,000 is 40 percent. So 100 percent is what? Right. So 20,000 divided by 40 percent. How much is that? 50,000. So total sales are 50,000 units. Okay. If we know total sales are 50,000 units, we can find rate of net return on sales because now we just have to uh, just a second. What happened? I think there was some issue. I, guess, I hope it is solved now. Fine. Now we have got actual sales. We just have to calculate rate of net return. That means we'll have to calculate profit. Let's prepare our normal cost sheet for preparing prof for calculating profit. So sales. Sales will be what now? 50,000 units into what? 40 per unit. How much is that? 20 lakhs. <coughs> Variable cost will be what 50,000 units into 16 per unit, 8 lakhs, 12 lakhs will be the contribution. We know fixed cost also, fixed cost is 4 lakh 80,000. Seven lakh twenty thousand is our profit. But this is profit before tax because they have given tax rate also. So we'll have to subtract tax also to get net return. So let's subtract tax at 40%. What is 40% of 7,20,000? 2,88,000. If you just press minus equal to, you'll get the answer. 4,32,000. Just a little calculator shortcut that if you ever do 7,20,000 into 40% and then you have to get the remaining figure, then just press minus equal to, that's it. So this is profit after tax. 4,32,000. So what is rate of return? 4,32,000 over 20 lakhs of sales. So what is rate of return? 4.32 lakhs upon 20 lakhs. How much percentage is that? 21.6%. This is the rate of net return. This was a basic question. There was nothing about composite BP in this. But now second question is about composite BP. So I hope you have understood up to this point. If yes, let's go ahead. Now let's focus on composite BP. Okay. For the next year, it is proposed to add another product line Y whose selling price would be 50 and variable cost rupees 10. So we have both contributions and both, you know, sales and variable cost. Let's write it at one place. Selling price per unit, variable cost per unit, contribution per unit. And let's also write PV ratios. For X, we know it is 40, 16. 24 and what is PV ratio contribution upon sales is 60 percent similarly for Y now they have given 50 and 10 so 40 is the contribution which is 80 percent PV ratio right very high fine the total fixed cost total that is common fixed costs are estimated at 6,66,600 the sales mix of X and Y would be 7 is to 3 at what level of sales next year would MK limited break even Give separately for both, both X and Y the break even sales in rupees and quantities. Separately means what? They are going to be produced together, but we'll have to have break even point separately that these many units of Y, these many units of X will together make our break even. Okay. So let's check that. Now here, while before you start solving, there are two assumptions. Concentrate very carefully. They have given sales mixes 7 is to 3. Sales mix can mean two things. Okay. One can be quantity mix that is 7 units of X for 3 units of Y or one can be value mix value mix is what let's say 700 rupees of sales of X are equivalent to 300 rupees of sales of Y ok so it can be anything it can be that when you produce 7 units of X you produce seven, you produce 3 units of Y or sell hmm. or it can mean that when you sell 700 rupees of X you, you sell 300 rupees of Y so it can be quantity or value based on these assumptions we have two methods quantity and value based on quantity based on value so composite BEP also we will have to calculate based on two assumptions so let's try to calculate composite BEP based on two assumptions first assumption is 7 is to 3 is the ratio of 
quantity of x and y. 7 is to 3 is the ratio of quantity. Now concentrate carefully. If, if we assume that it is ratio of quantity, in exam they will either give that this is ratio of quantity or this is ratio of value. If they don't give, solve by both assumptions. Okay. So assumption 1 is 7 is to 3 is the ratio of quantity. Okay. Now if it is the ratio of quantity, then understand our composite BP is How do we calculate break even point in terms of quantity? Fixed cost divided by what? Contribution per unit, right? It is just that now we will take weighted average contribution per unit. That's it. So instead of contribution per unit, we will take weighted average. Why? Logically, because 7 is to 3 is our quantity ratio, right? So now let's divide our contribution over that weighted average 7 is to 3. Hmm. Now our fixed cost is 6 lakh. 66,600 now they have given different cost in second part right weighted average contribution let's try to solve what is our contribution of okay first of all what is formula of weighted average if you remember from foundation maths it is summation wx upon summation w you don't need to remember this if it feels complicated forget about it just remember the concept how do we calculate weighted average we multiply each value contribution per unit right so we multiply each value with its weight so 24 weight of 24 is what 7 7 is to 3 right plus next is 40 weight of 40 is 3 so contribution into weight contribution into weight divided by sum of weights sum of weights is 7 plus 3 10 that is our weighted average contribution per unit what is 24 into 7 168 40 into 3 is 120 so 288 divided by 10 is 28.8 rupees So this is our composite BP. What is our composite BP? 6,66,600 divided by 28.8 which gives us 23,145.8 or 146 units. 23,146 units. That is our break even point in terms of quantity if we assume that it is quantity ratio. Okay. Fine. Now, how to find this for X and Y separately? Now that is easy because now we have 23,146 units. This is our composite BP. We have to divide this over X and Y in the ratio of 7 is to 3. That's it. How do we find, how do we divide something in the ratio? 7 plus 3 is 10, right? So understand 23,146 is 10. How much is 7? Similarly, 23,146 is 10. How much is 3? Calculate that. That will be their individual break on point. 23,146 by 10 into 7 is 1602.2 units and into 3 is 6943.8 units okay you can round off the decimal points that is fine does not matter so this is their individual break even point they have also asked in terms of rupees right so 16202.2 units is 16202 into what was the selling price of x 40 right into 40 so that means in rupees terms, it is 16,202 into 40, which is rupees 6,48,080. Rounding of difference is fine. Similarly, this, if you want in terms of value, it is 6,943 or 6,944 into 50 rupees. That gives us 3,47,200 rupees. So break even point in terms of units is this for x and y and in rupees is this for x and y this is based on assumption that this is quantity mix quantity ratio quantity mix now we'll solve the same thing assuming that it is value ratio value mix okay let's solve the same thing assuming that 7 is to 3 is the ratio of sales value in rupees of x and y that is it is called as value mix if we want composite bp in terms of value then we will use the value formula of bp composite bp what is formula of break even point in terms of value fixed cost upon pv ratio right now instead of pv ratio we will take weighted average PV ratio, that's it. Right. 
सो सिक्स लैक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स सेवन सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई वेटेड एवरेज पी वी रेशो वेटेड एवरेज पी वी रेशो विल कैलकुलेट इन द सेम वे वॉट वॉज पी वी रेशो ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड एटी परसेंट राइट सो विल टेक सिक्सटी इंटू वट इज द वेट ऑफ दैट सेवन प्लस एटी इंटू थ्री डिवाइड बाय सम ऑफ वेट्स इज टेन कैलकुलेट दैट सिक्सटी इंटू सेवन एटी इंटू थ्री डिवाइड बाय टेन दैट इज सिक्सटी सिक्स रुपीज सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट सॉरी राइट पी वी रेशो सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट सो इफ यू चेक दिस कॉम्पोजिट बीप इज गोइंग टू बी सिक्स 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 हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट इज टेन लैक टेन थाउजेंड right that is a composite bp that's it in terms of value mix it is weighted average pv ratio in terms of quantity mix it is weighted average contribution per unit again we'll have to divide this but again that is easy so 10 lakh 10000 let's divide it among x and y in the ratio of 7 is to 3 hmm fine now again this is 10 right 7 plus 3 so 10 lakh 10000 divided by 10 into 7 10 lakh 10000 divided by 10 into 3 so it is going to be what 7 lakh 7000 right yes stick on your calculator and 3 lakh 3000 now this is in terms of rupees right this is in terms of rupees let's find in terms of units also 7 lakh 7000 rupees is What was the per unit selling price of X? Forty, right? So seven lakh seven hundred divided by forty is how much? Seventeen thousand six seventy-five units. Similarly, here three lakh three thousand divided by fifty was the selling price, I guess. Six zero six zero units. Okay. So I hope this concept is clear to everyone. Let me just revise it very quickly. composite bp can be based on two assumptions two assumptions that it is given as quantity mix it is given as value mix if it is quantity mix we'll find break even point in terms of quantity which is fixed cost upon weighted average contribution per unit now in terms of value mix we'll use pv ratio formula so weighted average pv ratio then we'll divide this in that ratio quantity will divide it or if it is value then we'll divide value that's it so that is the concept of composite bp i hope it is clear to everyone it is a good concept to know from exam point of view because it is different than our regular questions okay fine so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt let me know in comments and you can join the telegram channel where i post daily questions like this or at least every two days okay so that you get a lot of practice for exam so because these questions are from my question bank and my question bank contains a lot of questions like for marginal costing we have 61 questions in this plus an additional question bank and they are difficult okay i don't set easy questions in question bank also and in test also so all the questions are difficult so that you are ready for exam and in exam whatever comes you will be able to face it okay fine i hope this is clear to everyone let's stop here for today bye bye